Good morning, and welcome to St. John the Baptist Cathedral Basilica Parish. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. Please take a moment now to silence your phones. Our presider this morning is Father Zero, and our gathering hymn is in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 520. Here I am, Lord, number 520. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to celebrate this, this Saturday Mass. Let us pray for all our intentions and for those who ask for our prayers. Today, we are offering this Mass for uh, Patrick, Jehu, John Power, Carol, and McDonald. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and let us recognize that God loves us, that God welcomes us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, 
who calls the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose. Grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertain ties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Let us be attentive to the readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year that King Josiah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and holy, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings, with two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to the to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The privets of the threshold shook at the voices of those who called and the house filled with smoke. I, and I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips and I live among the people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the surfaces fled, fled to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is plotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to Psalm 93 is, The Lord is King, he is robed in majesty. to 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A disciple is not about the teacher, not a slave about the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light. And what you hear whisper, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Add not to sparrows soul for a penny, yet no one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father, and even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are more value than many sparrows. Everyone therefore who acknowledges be at to who acknowledge me before others, I also will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I also will deny before my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated for a moment. Some months ago, I was talking with a family who were uh, moving to the main land because they got a job and they were hired in a good company after they finished here uh, their doctorate. And uh, they said, Father, we have been here for the last uh, four, almost five years and we are afraid to move because big cities 
because we don't know anyone there. And I said to them, don't be afraid. If God gave you this work, this job, is because he is going to take care of you. It's because he is going to give you wisdom and you will be fine there. Today we hear the gospel. This is um, a series in Matthew's gospel. After uh, Jesus sent his disciples to preach the good news to the villages, towns, and uh, the command was preach the good news, heal the sick, forgive the sins, and uh, welcome everyone. And uh, for this mission it wasn't easy because he just, just was warning his disciples that they will find many difficult times because some people will reject them, betray them, and sometimes this is a pain of suffering and cross. And today, just uh, Jesus said the word three times, don't be afraid, because God is taking care of you. Doesn't matter you will receive rejections. Doesn't matter you will find alone, but you will find the way, you will find the wisdom, and you will continue preaching the good news. And there will be some people who listen and be safe. My dear friends, I don't know if you are uh, facing some challenges in your life today. Maybe a transition time. Maybe a kind of illnesses. Maybe some broken relationships. Maybe you feel fear. Today, just you, want, or you have to hear the voice from God or from Jesus saying to you, don't be afraid because I will take care of you. You are more important than the animals, the little sparrows. You are more important than anything from me because you are my beloved sons and daughters. And uh, I know you and I know how many hairs of your head you have. This is incredible how God knows us. If you are dealing with some situation, just come in prayer and say to God, I am here. I want to heal your voice, to follow your will. And the Holy Spirit who always, always leads us, as he led the disciples to preach the good news, he will lead us and take care of us. Amen. Let us place before God all our intentions, especially let us pray for the Pope, for his mission to take care of the Church, that the Holy Spirit continue leading him and giving wisdom to do the best. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for uh, our leaders, civil leaders, religious leaders, community leaders, that they can hear the voice of God who has called us to serve and to make a difference in people's lives. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for ourselves. Maybe we are dealing with challenges. God is saying to us, I am here to lead you, to take care of you, that 
we can feel his presence. We pray. Let us pray for uh, the eternal life of uh, Patrick, Jehu, John Power, Carol Ann McDonald. We pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, let us present our intentions. Lord, hear our prayer. Beloved God, hear the prayers that we put before you and all the intentions that are still in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who came for yourself a people by adoption to the one sacrifice offered once for all, be so graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our, voice, our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as one for the disciples, so now for us, he opened the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which was given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood, the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power and spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel, Extend the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, our Pastor Caesar, and the whole order of bishops, that in the world torn by a strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known, and need them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrims is done, that we come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to this my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Our communion hymn is in Celebrate in Song, number 6.6. .6. One love released. Number six point six. One bread, 
Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and gracefully perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you alone, the women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Good day for everyone. You too, Father. And thank you for the music. Our missioning hymn is in the Catholic Book of Worship, number 517. Lord Jesus, we must know you, number 517. <clears throat> Lord Jesus.